Welcome back, everybody. Red Cat Creative, episode two. As I promised in episode one, which if you haven't watched, you should definitely do. Uh, today we are going to be looking at some of the mods that are on the server. Now, let me just say this. A lot of these mods are very modified. Um, there's a lot of them that you won't even find outside of the server because they have been pretty much modified directly for the server, specifically for the server. And yeah, so there's a lot of stuff here that you probably won't have experienced elsewhere. But with that being said, let's take a look at some of this cool stuff. There's 32 pages, so this might take a little bit of time. We have some Abri blocks, which I've never heard of. But you know what? This is a creative server, right? Wait, I didn't want to grab that. I wanted this. Let's actually go uh, fly someplace real quick. <laughs> if that's even possible. If I'm starting at spawn, it's probably not going to be quick to find someplace that's unprotected. Um, but maybe, maybe, whoa, what is this? It's a really bright house. It's a really nice tree house. <laughs> Everywhere I go, there's just buildings. Oh, there's something there. Whoa, whoa. A giant snow slide. Up oh, there's a road. Hmm. Ah, the water. Whoa, there's also stuff down here, too. Whoa, was that a sunken ship? It was. There is a mod that actually adds sunken ships, so it's very probable that's where that sunken ship comes from. Uh, a tunnel way right through that hill. The ship. Okay, this is looking like it's not going to be very likely. Ah, but what do we have here? I have no idea what that is, but it looks like it's something somebody built. Really nice house there. A beautiful archway. Wow, this is really nice stuff. Unfortunately, um, no straight lines. Yeah, this isn't going to work. I wanted to find some place where we could place some of these nodes down. But there's a lot of stuff built here. And whoa, it pretty much encompasses everything. Hey, I remember this. I went in a big circle, didn't I? Sure did. I sure did. I don't even know how that was possible. Oh, nice uh, roller coaster track there. I think that was a roller coaster. It looked like that more than normal train. Nice windmill. Hmm. Wow, there's so much creative stuff on here. It's insane. But I think. Oh, nope, never mind. Never mind. What about. Nope. Nope, there's something there. Aha, uh -huh, right, right here. Ah, oh, there's a road. Temple of the Mad Cat. Nope, that's protected. <clears throat> Whoa. That's a big mountain. You know, I don't think this is going to be possible. Wow. Not bad, dude. Not bad. Ghost. I'm assuming that's who built this. Alright. If this land on the other side is buildable, I'll throw some stuff on it. Otherwise, I'm going to stop looking. Because this is just wasting time. I just went under a road. Hmm. It's wasting time. 
And it's making this video larger than it needs to be because there's a lot more extra motion. And there's more things to encode then. And this is a really long lake. Wow. Ah, the land. And, well, other than this little thing here. But it's not protected. Sweet sauce. Okay, so that is a door, obviously. I'm just gonna grab some of these torches here. Wow, that's very nice. That door would match perfectly with desert brick. Right, right, let me grab some of those. Wait, that's uh, a murder hole. Oh, good. Good. Um, now, I don't know if a murder hole means you fall through it. No, nah, you wouldn't because... Yeah, no, it's a full block. Oh, but you can drop stuff down it? Okay, so that's why it's called a murder hole. In real life. Not to say that this isn't real life, of course. It's not real life. Um, murder holes. Yeah, nice. You use them on castles. And essentially, they gave you the ability to, most cases, pour boiling oil down through them onto the attackers. And yeah, um, you pretty much would kill them that way, which is why they were called murder holes. It's really, really, uh, not a, not a nice thing to do to people. But, you know, they were attacking your castle, so they kind of had it coming, I guess. I don't know why I was going to look at craft recipes. It's a creative service, so who cares about crafts? Let's see what else we have. We have some more glasses. And I do not mean spectacles. I mean glasses like glass. That's pretty nice. You could do a, a lot of... Why did I turn three of off? You could do a lot of stained glass window type stuff with this. While keeping some transparency. So that's nice. I have a variety of different colors on that. And you have stained glass with edges on it. Cage glass. Just a lot of different stained glass styles. Um, a bunch of different colored torches. Now, the thing with torches is they all make white light. Whoops. They all make white light. So it doesn't matter what color torch you use. Your illumination provided will always be the same color. So it's really just a decorative thing. So you can put different colored torches out. And the flames are different colors. But that's going to be it. Um, maybe at some point, my test, or the, uh, the game engine will change to support different colors. That would be pretty cool. But no time in the foreseeable future is that likely to happen. Some asteroid stuff. Okay, so these asteroids, I don't know for sure if this is on this server yet. I think so. I just don't know how to get to them. Um, yeah, it must be. This is all asteroid stuff. Okay, so I don't know where the teleporters are or how to get to them. but And I, I could be wrong on this, so take with a grain of salt. I'm fairly certain there are asteroids in the outer space, which my test worlds go up. I believe like 3,000 nodes. Um, and right now I'm sitting at about sea level. Obviously there the sea is. Uh, and you can see the second digit in the top left corner there that is slowly incrementing. That's my elevation. And like I said, they go up about 3,000, I think. And I'm at cloud level at 150 already. So you are very unlikely to fly up to the clouds. Okay, I'm turning free move off because it's faster to fall down. 
I just need to turn it back on before I die. Oh, that was close. You know, death might actually be turned off. I don't know. It's possible. Um, but yes, I believe there are asteroids up in the sky. And that's where you would find these materials harvested. Obviously, they yield diamond and the normal ores. But it's creative. So, you know, are you actually going to go places and harvest stuff? kind of doubt it baked clay baked clay is cool um just decorative nodes as are a lot of the stuff that you will find here um but what's nice about it is it gives some more subdued earthy tones like you take baked clay and you take wool which wool is all very bright colors and you can use the two in combination and this is big for people doing pixel art. You can get a... Pretty much you can like double up your color palette by using wool and baked clay. Because baked clay gives you the more natural tones and these give you the brighter, vibrant tones. A wooden banner. Oh, hey. Wow, I'm... Cool. And then... Wait. Okay, you click on it. I did a mod review on this video. And you can you can pretty much make your own banner. Now the trick is you have to... Oh, there's even a Red Cat Creative sticker. You have to do it in the right order. How do you set the... Oh, yeah, you just use this. Okay, so we want the background to be yellow. So we do that, and it sets everything yellow. Then we want a pink Red Cat Creative sticker on it. And then we want a blue. Actually, no, what we should have done. Um, do I have a border? Not really, no. Let's do a blue cross behind it, and we'll have to go back to the pink red cat creative to go on top. Um, and then I think we just said escape. No, okay, that's not what we do. How do you save it? I don't remember. I did a mod review on this. So I was like, wow, this is such a cool mod. People need to know about this. There's no save button. Just double click outside of it. Now I'm disappointed. I don't remember how to save it. I don't want to put a torch on there. No. No, I don't want to. Let me get this out of my hand. I am confused. I just put one out. Nope. Didn't want to do that. Okay, so I have to punch it when I'm holding it. Okay. So I punch it when I'm holding one. And I do that. I can't click on any of these to do that. Hmm. Why is this not? Enter doesn't close it. Okay, I'm not sure what the problem there is. Um, but if you knew what you were doing, you could put those out. Evidently, I just have no idea what I'm doing. Home decor. There's a lot of stuff from home decor. A lot of it's modified. Um, don't know about recipes on anything. But again, who cares about recipes when you're on a creative I don't know what this is though. A grate? That's not something I'm familiar with. It's just... Okay, so it's pretty much just like a... A border kind of thing. You know, I can let that sit. I'll clean it up once I'm done recording. Um, carpets? A lot of different carpets. A bookshelf carpets. For the book lover in your life. The all new bookshelf carpet. Now, I imagine that one could take an actual bookshelf. 
Ooh, wait though, could they? No, nah, you couldn't. Never mind. Uh, so you could put a bookshelf on your floor and rotate it with a screwdriver. Nobody would ever realized, but these stick up off the floor a little bit. So that wouldn't really work because you would have a recess in your floor for the real bookshelf. But still, if someone just quick looking through, they might miss it. A bed carpet. A leaf carpet. Oh, and that's about it. Okay, not too many carpets. Arrow slits. There must be a castle mod. I need to know what this mod is. Oh, it's called castle. Alright, alright. That makes sense. Now, because here's some more murder holes are. And a battle axe. There's no craft recipes. Mine, something else from castle. Oh, an iron bound chest. I want an iron bound chest. Yeah, what does this puppy look like when placed in world? Nice. And it has a normal chest inventory, as should be expected. And a crate. I'm assuming a uh, slightly smaller. Still really nice, really decorative. Dungeon stone. Okay, I do want to know, how do I use this? Because it looks like it's very thin. There's snow there. So the question becomes, what do we do for the corners? Is there like a corner spindle or do we just use brick? Probably just use a brick, I would guess. And then um, use these between them. The wall would be recessed back from the front or forwards, depending on which direction you're facing when you place it. It lets you see through. Comes in a slit style, a cross style, and a hole. I don't know. We'll just place some of all of these. Um, that was from the wrong side. That one has the cross. Yeah, it does. There's a little bit of a cross going on there. Just get rid of the snow so we can see a little easier. And then just larger. That'd be more for, like, shooting a cannon through it or something. I already had the jail door out. I want to put a jail door out. Function functions exactly as one would expect. Just like a door. Are these tapestries part of this castle mod, too? They are. And you can make long tapestries by mixing a tapestry with a block of wool. Now, I probably need to place this on something. So let's go ahead and print it out. Very nice. Can I? No, it does not look like I can. Nope. I was wondering if maybe it was something that would open and close. But, alas, it is not. Okay, so we got some more cool castle stuff here. Pretty much if you want to build a castle, this is a lot of good stuff to build with. Castle pavement. These pillars are even part of castles. So you can do all of your walkways and passageways and hallways. A rope box? What? And rope. Hmm. I imagine the twin of them would be used together to make something rope and a rope box to hang stuff off of i would guess like a lamp or something oh there's a tapestry top to put on top of it some decorative shields so you can throw these up in your great hall oh and i can't put that one there there we go decorate up your great hall with some shields i need to find this castle mod that looks like a really, really fun mod. A workbench. Now, mine test always has a 3x3 three three input. So what? What does this do? I think this automatically is going to craft it. And I guess Asteroid Cobble is not part of the stone group? 
and it also does not have shift click enabled. I don't know if this is an auto crafter. We are going to find out though. And we'll do that by grabbing some cobble. Now, is there really any point to having an auto crafter on a creative server? And by is there a point, I mean is there an advantage to the users in having it? And the answer, honestly, probably no. This doesn't make sense. I have source material, I have recipe to use. Ah, there we go. Yep, so this is an, pretty much an auto crafting workbench that will make things for you. Um, I don't particularly need anything being made for me though. I'm totally polluting this world. I'm gonna have to do so much cleanup once I'm done. Or just leave this mess out here. No, I would never do that. That's horrible. Such a beautiful world and then somebody comes through and just makes a mess of things. All right, moving on, because this is getting long. We're only on page four. We have some items from Cave Realms. I was talking with the server admin actually earlier just this morning. The notes from Cave Realms are here, but do not go digging looking for a Cave Realm because you will never find it. The map gen portion of them does not exist. Um. I guess it was making the server laggy. So you will not find an actual cave realm. You have all the nodes from them, so you can do all your creative building with them, but they do not exist. Here we go, the columns mod. I also have a mod review on this. I have a mod review on a lot of these different mods. If you want to see any of those, head over to my website, which will be linked in the description. And on the um, the bottom left, there's going to be a section that says like some of the server's mods, and it shows six different mods that are on the server, and you can refresh the page, and you'll get a different listing, and those link directly to my mod reviews on those mods. So you can uh, you can see some of these mod reviews if you want a little more in-depth information on them. Uh, cottages, I feel like this is part of some mod pack. I do not have a mod review on this, though I should. Um, this is some kind of a village something, and cottages is parts of that, and it spawns out little houses. I don't believe that portion is on the server. I think just the nodes are. Um, another, oh, this is Dark Age. Dark Age I know of, I've never done a mod review on it. I really should install it and give it a whirl and do that because there's a lot of cool looking stuff here, which you don't realize from a screenshot on a forum. Wooden shelves. Ooh, give me some of these. Give me some wooden shelves. I want to put some of these out. I would imagine, oh, no different than a chest other than uh, they have the inventory split up a little bit different, which makes sense for a shelf. Cobblestone with plaster. Um, that's not really. Did they just go through and remove every single recipe for every single item in the server? So on the inside, you have a nice plastered look. On the outside, you have a. Oh, you actually have a cobblestone look. And then on the side, you have a brick look. Okay. That wouldn't have been my choice, but you know what? That's okay. Um, this is from Darkage again. We have some straw and some hay, some different materials, some slate tile. This actually looks this looks really nice. Like I could see. Putting in like a floor of that. That is beautiful. That looks really, really nice. I'm not gonna lie. 
I don't know what the point would be of lying about how nice I'm <laughs> anyway. Okay, so moving on. We have all of our default stuff, which I won't cover, and that'll be several pages. Okay, it'll be like two pages. What is this? Those are very descriptive descriptions. Um, did something weird just happen? Okay, okay, I don't know what happened there. Uh, leg, I'm assuming. Factory bridges. It's like different little walkways and stuff. And stairways. Some with rails and some without rails. Little like scaffolding things to go underneath. Wow. This is... This is a mod I've never seen. Not that I remember anyway. Nice rail. Wow. This would actually be really good for making, say, skywalks. Catwalk? Is it called a skywalk? Catwalk? I, I don't know for sure. But like those paths in the air in a theater for doing lighting. Or obviously for in factories. For where you got a lot of machinery on the ground and stuff. And you kind of, you walk around in the air to get a bird's eye view on everything. And there's a lot of different options. You got corners, intersections, ones with edges. All sorts of fun things. Somebody just teleported to near where I am. Um, I thought. But I don't see anyone around. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Moving on. Uh, farming? Looks like they either have changed some textures or have just added things because I don't remember this being in default farming. Grapes? Yeah, this is definitely some stuff that's been changed around there. Blueberries? I'm assuming they come off of a bush. Bunch more food things. Some of these are from, uh... Alright, where is this person? Are they in the sky? I do not see a name in the sky. I am obsessing over an invisible being. Look, I should see a name tag moving. Somewhere. And I don't see anything. Oh, whatever. Probably somebody messing with me. Um. Okay. So, we got some more home decor stuff. Bunch more home decor stuff. Home decor is not all grouped together because it's actually a mod pack. So, things will show up in different areas in the inventory. But home decor does add a lot, a lot of things. I'll, obviously, for use in decorating, decorating up and making a house look more homey. So we got appliances. There's furniture. There's floor tiles. There's lighting. There's... There's a toilet, there's a toaster, uh, sofas, I don't know. Okay, so now there's some lapis. Lapis tile. So just some kind of decorative stuff. Alright. Um, Mexicans are kind of on this server um if i try to give myself them i don't believe i can use them i'm fairly certain oh that one placed i was under the impression that this was all locked out with a priv maybe the wires are placeable but logic gates aren't I'm not sure um, but I thought these were, or maybe they gave me the priv, which I don't know why. Huh, anyway, 
moving on, I guess you can try to build stuff with Mastacons, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, you wasted your time. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Spending too much time looking at all these mods. There's too many mods. More blocks with different little textured inlays on them. So some more stuff. Oh wait, this is mithril. Never mind. Uh, more ores, mithril, and I believe silver. Yep. Some plants here. These. Um, I actually just did a mod review on these. There's a lot of different plants. Uh, for the most part, they don't really drop anything, and I don't think you can turn them into dyes. They're just decorative. Um, again, as I've said pff, half a dozen times by now, probably, it's a creative server, so you don't really need the ability to make dyes and craft recipes. You want something, you just search for it and grab it, and then you go. Doors. Lots and lots of doors. Whoa, what is this? My Doors Plus Hidden Door Bookshelf. So, not only do we do have a bookshelf carpet, but we have bookshelf doors. So you can you can really hide your bookshelves and hide secret entrances. Just take a room, fill it with bookshelves, fill the carpet with bookshelf, put a secret bookshelf bookshelf on the floor, put secret doors in the walls. Though I should really see on a normal bookshelf if that gives you mouse over text. Because if it does, it'd be a dead giveaway when you find a door. If it doesn't, though, well, you'd never know. These are all going to function just like normal doors. I do think, though, that this one and this one actually do a side-by-side -side opening. I believe. So we'll put one out, and then I'll put one out. And I'll put one out. There we go. And I'll do that. Okay. Let me um, get an empty inventory space. Yep. And it opens both simultaneously. And if I do this style, just got to put that one there. It opens both of those. So if you're doing, hey, if you're doing a spacey type themed Okay, evidently you can't put two doors next to each other. Um, it kind of glitches things out and it doesn't know what it's doing. But you do have nice little side-by-side -side doors for that. Okay, now what is this? A it is called the catwalk. Prefab concrete. This has a lot of different concrete things. Railing corners. Hey, this is where those... Power lines came from electric fence end, electric fence corner, and electric fence. Somebody was using these for uh, rail car power, which is a decorative use for it. Pyramids has a couple decorative stones. Ah, and then we get some special red cat stuff. There's some different bricks. There are several different cobbles. Some more bricks. Some really nice marble. A, um, what do you call that? Not mosaic. Eh, it kind of would be mosaic. Um, let me actually grab some of those and see how they look large scale. Not bad at all. It actually has a very pleasing color combination and stuff going on with it okay now this dude this is like straight up pixel artist dream right here this is why there are so many pages of inventory dude this is like straight up seven pages. RGB 316. RGB 326. You want to do pixel art? Well, this is what you need. You need this RGB mod. Wow. It's got literally every single shade of every... Well, okay. It's a slight exaggeration. 
Assuming that it, this started at RGB1, which I'm assuming it did, I'm going to find out. 777 nodes. Again, if it's doing one for every number, which I believe it is. It looks like it. And that's a lot. It's a lot of colors. Ribbon test. I'm assuming this is just like a decorative piece of artwork you would throw on a wall. It is. Okay. Uh, some more woods. Uh, I guess this is actually a mushroom stem. From um, Ricin Pills. I have no idea how that's supposed to be pronounced. Ribbon test. Orange lampposts. Now, is this like an actual lamppost or is this like a torch? Okay, it's more like a torch. Does it do side mount? No. Only straight up and down. Does it illuminate? Uh, it's daytime. I, I don't know, but I would imagine so. Moving along. There's still so many pages to go through. There's so much stuff. Not enough time. Some more stuff from this Riven Test. I've never heard of this. Sci-fi. Okay, now I think this is a partial mod edition. Uh, Doomed made this, the sci-fi nodes, um, but I think his had a lot more than what is here. Which It's not unusual for a server admin to go through and kind of tweak mods to make them a little... A little more in line with what their idea is for their server so some of the stuff here I think has been removed um, but still you have a pretty nice selection of specialized nodes for doing like spaceships or space stations things like that we got some sea life type stuff here I think this actually is a sea life mod pack we got coral some little lamp kind of things um, seaweed, kelp, I guess, some stones at the bottom, and then the brick variants, a poster, the signs, I've seen these signposts around, the air sword, the legend, the myth, the thing that people claim doesn't exist, I hold it in my hand, the mighty air sword, of course this isn't a PvP enabled server. I don't think it's PvP enabled. And I don't know whose that was, but I just destroyed it. Sorry. But not sorry. The Mighty Air Sword wreaks havoc on everything it touches. I really have no idea how powerful the Air Sword is. Because again, this is not a, um, a PvP server, so I can't fight people with it. Which is fine. I'm not trying to start any battles. Skylands? It's got a small variety of different nodes there. Snow cobble. Slabs. We're going to see a lot of slabs from a lot of the different nodes. And then stairs from the same. Sump F mossy tree. Swamp stone bricks. I feel like there's just a little too much brightness on that stone. Let me see, does it actually place looking like that, or is that just an artifact thing? Nope, that's how it actually places. That highlight that's put on there, in my opinion, is too strong. My opinion means nothing, of course, but in my opinion, it's a little too strong. We're almost done. Uh, we got these little root things, which I have never cared for. Um, they spawn... Well, they don't, I guess they don't spawn, but they, wait, isn't that a carpet? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I can actually put books in my carpet. <laughs> That's crazy. Now, does it only take books? 
Yeah, it only takes books. Okay. Uh, I don't know why it placed up there. But yeah, you'd have a tree trunk growing, and these are like the roots for it. I never cared for them, though, because when you're walking, you bump into them. And they're hard to see when you're walking like this. It's like, what am I hitting? Why can't I walk? This is so annoying. But, yeah, they're part of a, a mod. So, obviously, you get them. Some different vines and ropes from the vines mod. And uh, then this wool, which... Forget everything I said about making pixel art with a wool when you have the RGB mod. Do everything with that. A young tree metal. And a young bamboo tree. I want a bamboo tree. Only to plant it in the snow. Does it actually grow like this? It is. It's just three little bamboo chunks. And I would assume when it grows, it does that. But you can walk right through it. So, I guess no worries on that. Um, you know, I don't remember seeing a book at all. Oh, yeah, there was lots of different books. A puzzle book? What? Um, okay. Seemingly, it is just decorative. And I can't even put it in a bookshelf. Well, it is what it is. This went way longer than I had planned. Like, 40 minutes long. Yipes. And we didn't even cover everything in detail. So, this leads me to believe that there is a lot of creative stuff you can build on the Red Cat Creative Server. And we've seen just a small taste. Just a tiny, eensy, weensy, teeny, itsy, bitsy taste of some of the impressive stuff people have built. Episode 3, there are a few locations that we're going to be looking at in addition to what we looked at in Episode 1. I um, Again, I was talking with the admin a little bit, and she gave me a couple spots to go and check out. So we are going to do that. And yeah, that is then going to wrap up this server series and we will be moving on to something else so thanks for sticking around again if you want to see mod reviews on some of the mods that are on the server check out the web page and some are linked and you can check out those mod reviews or obviously you can just search right on my website for any of those mod names and if there's a mod review it'll pull right up and you can watch it get all the links to download if you want to use it in your own local games or if you want to use it on the server, obviously you can just visit the server and not worry about any of that stuff. So, yeah, that's it for now. I will see you guys next time.